Something tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. My life is complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Break me. to write his letters weren't exactly poetic so that's about it right back i guess from alden so so how would you feel if your boyfriend was ending his letters with from alden that would be pretty weird because then we both have the same boyfriend ha ha he promised to write every day <laughs> and you believed him as if any guy would actually do that <laughs> How long is your meeting gonna take anyway? Ow! Oh, hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. That's okay. I should watch where I'm going. I just didn't want to be late for the CIT meeting. You're a new CIT? Yeah, Mitchell was fired. He was caught smoking. Really? Yeah. So I guess his bad habit is my gain. I got to bump into two pretty girls. Where? What pretty girls? I mean, right. You did. Well, the meeting's in here. Aren't you coming? Marie's not a CIT yet, but I will be next year. <laughs> Come on, we better go. See you later then. Bye. To round up, Saturday is the Sailing Regatta. Sign up is on the beach this morning. And finally, I'd like to introduce Jason. He'll be with us for the rest of the summer. Let's make him feel welcome. So what's the new guy like? Jason? I don't know. I've hardly spoken to him. But you know his name. Carol introduced him at the meeting. What's with you? Nothing. Why? <laughs> higher! Try to kick higher! <laughs> I can't kick higher. <laughs> <laughs> when will I ever need to do the can-can? Oh, when you're on Broadway. <laughs> wow. Sally doesn't waste any time, does she? <laughs> <laughs> you like him, don't you? Get out of here. He is pretty cute. <laughs> I heard him telling Carol he was a great sailor and really athletic. <laughs> It sure looks like he works out a lot. So, any mail from Alden yet? What? Oh, no. But, you know, I've been thinking, maybe I was putting too much pressure on Alden. A letter a day is a lot. Not if someone's really into you. You think? Uh-huh. Letters are good, but maybe you should call him. Remind him how much you miss him? That kind of thing. I mean, you wouldn't want him to get a new girlfriend while you're away. No, of course not, but only emergency calls are allowed. Maybe this is an emergency. Sign up for the regatta. Get over here now. There will be six teams. Let's go. Let's ask Jason to be on our team. <laughs> <laughs> you girls are out to make me look bad. You ask him. You're the one who knows him. Not really. <laughs> Jason, Maria has something she wants to ask you. Sure. What is it, Paddle Girl? We were just wondering, um, do you want to be on our team? Why not? Yes! I knew Maria liked Jason, and it was obvious why. He was gorgeous, totally self-confident, and fun. I mean, if I didn't have a boyfriend already, I'd be into him too. Whew. Okay, maybe I was already into him a little bit. 
How could I even notice Jason when I liked Alden so much? <laughs> On the other hand, it wasn't as if Alden was making a big effort to act like a real boyfriend. Maybe Maria was right. I just had to make one little phone call. If Alden was still interested in me, this would be his chance to let me know. A picture, not a belly itcher. Ah, oh, come on. Hello. Alden. Sharon, I, I thought you couldn't call from camp. Don't you want to talk to me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, everything okay there? Yeah, fine. Yes. You're happy that I'm fine? No. Oh, what did you say? Nothing. Forget it. All right. Alden, you seem kind of strange. Oh man, what's with you? Nothing's with me. I'm just really starting to wonder if you're even missing me. <sighs> you got to be kidding. Well, no, not, not really. Alden, I got to go. OK, that's it. <coughs> Weird. I thought I'd feel better after talking to Alden. Like, if we couldn't connect through letters, at least he would be the same old Alden over the phone. Maybe it's just that we've been away from each other for too long. Or maybe Alton and I were just growing apart. We've got a good chance of winning the regatta this year. I can feel it. Especially with such an expert sailor on our team. You guys didn't know how lucky you were to get me, did you? Sure we did. Sharon, it's behind you. Here. Thanks. Man, it's hot out here. Anyone mind? Anything to drink around here? I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Really, Sharon, it's no problem. Same here. Right soon. Love, Sharon. Hey, give me that. <laughs> you riding the same mush back, Romeo? Are you kidding? You know I'm not into that. There's your number one mistake, Beetle Brain. Girls love that stuff. They do? Oh, yeah. They want romance, attention, and the whole macho thing. <laughs> All at the same time? Hey, no one said it was easy being a guy. Listen. Your girlfriend's up in the wilderness, doing the whole camp bonding thing, right? Yeah. And it's co-ed, right? If I were you, pal, I'd start flexing that mushy muscle. Hmm. This sail seems a little loose. I better just adjust... Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Are you okay? <gasps> we better get you to an orthodontist. <sighs> so maybe you should come up to the cottage with me this weekend. What's there to do at a cottage? It's probably more boring than here, right? <clears throat> Are you kidding? I spend most of my time scoping out the hot babes at Camp Kukula. What are you talking about? Sharon's camp. It's on my lake. With my dad's binoculars, you get a great view of the dock and... What? You just happen to never mention this? Forget another letter, I'll go up and surprise Sharon with myself. Now you're working that muscle. Thanks, Mrs. Layton. See ya at the end of the day, lover boy. I hear it's gonna be a full moon tonight. <laughs> Rock, put your bare butt back in the car. <laughs> you don't have a girlfriend you're a freak <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to tighten the band myself what was she 150 years old or something
Actually, I think she did a pretty good job. So how much longer? Well, we've got about an hour until the camp van picks us up. I meant the braces. Oh, I hope by the end of the summer. I just got mine off before camp. You're kidding. Cross my heart, four years. Your teeth look pretty great. So do you. <laughs> an hour, you say? Yep. How about a hot dog? No, thanks. I'm a vegetarian. What a coincidence. <laughs> Me too. You're a vegetarian? Oh, yeah. I, I have no idea how people eat poor, innocent animals. Me either. Wow. I had no idea we had so much in common. So, do we have anything against french fries? French fries? I couldn't live without french fries. Then fries it is. I think it's amazing you came all the way up here to see Sharon. I hope this makes her happy. She sounded so, I don't know, weird on the phone. She called you? Yeah, I have no idea why. Maybe she's missing you. You think so? I hear there was an emergency. Uh, Maria, we really need our flag finished for the regatta tomorrow. Maybe Jason could help. Oh, right. We're leaving. Bye. Alden, what are you doing here? Who's that guy? What do you mean, who's that guy? He's another CIT. Did you come all the way up here to spy on me or what? No. Why would I do that? I wanted to call our regatta team the Tony Hawks. But Sharon thought it was stupid to name a sailing team after a skateboarder. Tony Hawk is the best. You skate? Oh, yeah. Tony's like a hero of mine. I would kill to be able to do the stale fish. What's your favorite trick? Oh, stale fish, definitely. You're kidding. Cool. I can't believe this. First you stop writing, then you act all weird on the phone, and now you show up out of the blue and start asking all sorts of questions. What are you talking about? I just came for a visit. Brock's cottage is on this lake. So? So? I don't know. I thought you'd be happy to see me. I am. It's just that... Well, I've got a lot of stuff to do right now. I'm in charge of building the campfire for tonight. We've got this regatta tomorrow, and... I don't know. Maybe you could have called. I wanted it to be a surprise. Here, let me help you with the fire. Thanks. It's okay. I, I can do it myself. Look, it's not like I don't want to see you. It's just... Hey, no problem. I can take a hint. I'll just go call Brock's mom. I felt bad about Alden. I really did. And I know I should have run after him and told him to stay. But how do I say this without sounding like a terrible person? Next to Jason, Alden seemed... kind of boring. Maria? What's with you? Uh, a bee! Uh-oh. Remember last time you were stung and your eye puffed up like a toasted marshmallow? I know! It was so swollen! Stop reminding me! Ah! Alden didn't stay long. He had to get back, uh, to help Brock's mom unpack. Uh-huh. That was nice of him. Really nice. It's hard to believe he'd rather unpack than stay for a longer visit. Well, he did. B, directly northeast. Ooh. Alden's always been thoughtful. Did you know that Jason is a huge Tony Hawk fan? No. Did you know he's a vegetarian? Get out! Listen, Sharon, you're being so obvious, it's making me nuts. You like Jason and you don't want to admit it. You like him too? So what if I do? I don't have a boyfriend who just came all the way up here from the city to visit me. Don't make me feel bad. I didn't force Alden to come up here. This is so unfair. Before Jason showed up, you would have been jumping up and down if Alden came by here. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Alden is such a sweet guy. You're so lucky he likes you. I know. So it makes complete sense for me to get Jason, right? Right. Complete. <laughs> How far can you raise it? Oh, don't tell me I can't race in the regatta tomorrow. You can, if you never want to use your right arm again.
Oh! They're giving you a five-minute head start because of our handicap. We can do this! <laughs> they better start polishing the trophy for us. Remember the rule. Around the island and back to the mainland. No detours. First boat pulled up onto the shore wins. Are you ready? Oh. And they're off! Do you ever wonder what's down there? I've been coming to camp for so long, the lake doesn't bother me. Every now and then, it still freaks me out. What? Are you afraid of sharks or something? Not if you aren't. So, does your boyfriend like the water? Who? That guy from yesterday? He's not really my boyfriend. He's my cousin. He just happens to have a friend who has a cottage on the lake. Right. That's some coincidence. Why did I just say Alden was my cousin? If I found out Alden did that, I would go crazy. I was being such a hypocrite. Alden and I were a couple. I just had to keep reminding myself. Storm warning! All boats back to shore! I repeat, turn your boats around and return to shore! I don't know how a cool girl like you doesn't have a boyfriend. Hmm, yeah. Well, how about you? Well, I have to admit, there are lots of cute girls at this camp. Like Maria? Yeah, she's an awesome skateboarder. She's a lot of fun. You should get to know her better. I'd like to get to know you better. Uh, I wonder where everyone else is. Does she love another? Or think of me like a brother? <sighs> You should just phone her, man. I'll even dial the camp for you. Save us both from this misery. Is she over me and into him? Should I sink or should I swim? Oh, man. We are currently northwest. Are you sure? How do I know you know how to read a compass? Well, when the red arrow is at the end, that indicates that... You all right? I tried being loyal to Alden and true to Maria. I really did. You saw me, right? What do you mean she's out in the storm? Hey. Come on. Weather. Anything else I should know about you? They must be looking for us, right? They wouldn't just leave us to perish, would they? Believe me, no one's gonna perish. <gasps> Over here! Jason, come on, get up! They have to see us! <laughs> Maria and Carol, they found us! You guys okay? Ew! What's with him? He freaked out and puked. You think they're gonna make it? Of course they are. These storms come and go all the time. Yes! All right! Hey, Spitz! Hey, back. You seem awfully happy to see your cousin. You seem awfully happy to see dry land. What did he say? Who? 
I'll never know why that lightning bolt came down when it did. Something told me it was more than luck. The kind of wacky luck I'd been having all year. I'm sorry about the other day. I don't know what came over me. I'm going to write every day till you get back. Don't worry about it. But if you want to write every day, that's... Hey, Romeo! We gotta go! And no more surprise visits, I promise. Bye, Alton. Bye, Sharon. This huge wave almost took the whole boat, but I stayed calm. I probably saved our lives. Please, how could I have ever believed a word this phony said? Maria thinks we are both victims of our own hormones. Whatever that means. All I know is, something worked out right. Maria's still my best friend, and Alden's still my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what do we ever see in him? Vegetarian, my foot. And why do I have the feeling he's never been on a skateboard? <laughs> <laughs>